Have you ever wondered how a hospital, a place of healing, can turn into a ground of fear and uncertainty? Today, we dive into the grim reality of Alamal Hospital in southern Gaza. This health facility, known for its life-saving services, has become a battleground. Two leading figures of the Palestinian Red Crescent Society have been abducted by Israeli forces. Dr. Haider al Kadura and Maher Atala, the administrative director, were taken from the hospital to an unknown location, their safety and whereabouts still unknown. Meanwhile, the International Committee of the Red Cross has relayed Israel's approval of a safe passage for displaced individuals. Yet the question remains, how safe can one feel when those who are meant to heal are themselves the victims of such inhumane acts? A hospital which should have been a sanctuary has now become an arena of fear. Can you imagine a hospital being surrounded and cut off, turning from a beacon of hope into a prison? Alamal Hospital, once a sanctuary for the sick and wounded, now finds itself under siege. Israeli forces have encircled the facility, creating an impenetrable barrier that keeps ambulances and the injured at bay. This very hospital, the heart of Khan Yunis, is now a makeshift refuge. It houses hundreds of patients, their conditions worsening with each passing day and thousands of displaced Palestinians who have fled their homes in northern Gaza. Their refuge, however, is far from a haven. The hospital's functionality has been severely compromised. For over two weeks it has stood non-operational. The once bustling corridors are now eerily silent. The medical equipment unused, the operating theaters abandoned. The health system in this besieged territory was barely functional to begin with, and now it can barely tolerate any more strain. Amid the despair, however, the hospital stands resolute. It remains a symbol of resilience against adversity. Despite the siege, despite the hardships, Alamal Hospital continues to serve as a beacon of hope for the people of Gaza. It stands as a testament to their indomitable spirit, their unyielding will to survive. In the midst of despair, the hospital stands as a symbol of resilience against adversity. What happens when an entire population is displaced and the health system is on the verge of collapse? In the besieged Palestinian territory of Gaza, this is not a hypothetical question, but a harsh reality. The health system, already stretched thin, is teetering on the brink of total breakdown. Essential medical supplies are scarce, and the medical personnel are overwhelmed, trying to provide care in a situation that seems to worsen by the hour. Since the start of hostilities in early October, the situation has grown dire. An unthinkable 85% of Gaza's population, that's roughly 1.9 million people, have been internally displaced. Many have sought refuge in makeshift shelters, hospitals and other facilities, but safety and stability remain elusive. The human cost of this conflict is staggering. More than 27,500 lives have been lost in Gaza so far. Each one of these numbers represents a person, a life cut short, a family shattered. Yet amid the rubble and the despair, the spirit of the Gazan people remains unbroken. Their resilience and courage in the face of such extreme adversity shine as a beacon of hope for humanity. It is a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope persists. In the face of such adversity, the resilience and courage of the Gazan people shine as a beacon of hope for humanity.